What could this possibly be? I have actually got no idea. Okay. Oh! Is that what I think it is? Is that a spider biome? Oh, okay. So it highlights cobwebs as a danger. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, my lord. Holy mother of mercy. That's a big ass biome. And definitely, <laughs> this cobweb's going to be useful for making the Necro armor, which of course is the first proper ranged set of armor you can have. Which is fantastic, because that means I don't have to go searching in caves anymore. Oh, this is so cool. I just have to be careful though, I don't have a lot of torches on me. Wait, how many do I have? I must have got some from that chest. Nice. I'll tell you what, let's use this. I don't know why I'm using a gun to get this thing, because this isn't technically a mob. You know, only the spiders are mobs, so we can use our melee weapons to get the rest of the stuff. Okay. Good lo- Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, he, ha, ah, oh, ha, ah, ooh. You do a lot of damage. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. Not in real life, and certainly not in this game. God damn, how big is this biome? It's ridiculous. Oh my lord. Oh, we're not even picking up this damn stuff. Okay, uh, regular chest. Get out of the game. I don't need you here. All right, we're going to pick up the rest, obviously, once we can. I just, I just want to explore this place at this point. Hmm. There we go. Uh, okay, that looks like a lava cave to my left. That's fine. Bunch more spiders. All the spiders. I don't like spiders. They suck. I'm an eight-legged freaks. Blah. Blah. Disgusting things. <laughs> uh, all right, okay. What the, what the hell? Did you, what? Okay, you can always derp out. Hmm. Hey, Mr. Slime, you're done. Uh, oh my god. Oh, I just killed it. I just killed it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what it was. It looked like a dead dude to me, but uh, he was... He looked a bit incapacitated, so I, I had to do him a favor. I'm sorry. I had to do him a favor. He's out the game now. You know, he can no longer feel pain. If he wasn't any pain, then, you know, he can't anymore. Can I, like, get up there, please? I want to get the rest of these cobwebs. Now, I'm pretty... Yeah, this is the only biome... <clears throat> oh, my throat is all kinds of blocked up today. This is the only biome where cobweb naturally regenerates. It's fantastic. See, look, you might be able to see the odd bit of cobweb coming back here and there. If we just stay here for maybe a few seconds or so, you might be able to see some cobweb reforming somewhere. I don't know, like, there's a little bit there. Uh, any more? I'm just waiting for it to pop up. I'm sort of looking in this area because it's the largest area. Oh, maybe, maybe not. It's a slow procedure, obviously, but uh, what the hell? Okay, they're in the dungeon. Good stuff. My voice is literally going right now. This is, this is great. This is great. Oh boy, I am now cursed. Oh man. So not only are you cursing me in game, I'm pretty sure you are the cause of me losing my voice in real life as well. So you know, you're a jerk bag. I hate you very much. How dare you make me lose my voice? Let's come back for now. Oh good lord. Oh, God. Right, okay, what else have we got to get from this dungeon? Uh, the Aqua Scepter is something we still don't currently have. And actually, I think that's pretty much it. We've got the Cobalt Shield, which is good. Because we can make that into... What can I make that into? I can make that into the Obsidian Shield. Which, of course, very, very useful indeed. Something I will definitely make. And if I manage to find a Blizzard in a bottle and a Horseshoe, I should be able to make that one accessory that allows you to quad jump. I have never had that accessory before. If I could get it in just this series, that would be fantastic. Right, okay. How good. How good. Right, there we go. Right! Don't you try it on me. Right. Oh, man. Come on, man. Come on. There you go. Hey! There's two of them. Oh, goody. Oh, God. Really? You have to go under there just so I can't shoot you? What what kind of magic is this, man? Why are you even able to fly? You don't have wings. Hmm? You don't have wings. It doesn't make sense to me, man. Oh. Okay, right. Yep, 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 yep. Good stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> my voice is going to be completely shot by the end of this. I'm, I can, I'm calling it right now. My voice is going to be shot and I won't be able to record for a few days. I hope that's not the case, but if it is, then uh, I can only apologize in advance. I have been having the old tickly sort of throat cough every now and then, which I guess kind of sucks. And for me, it's normally the first sign of me getting a cold. And, you know, I don't like to have colds because it means I can't record for you guys. And I don't like not being able to record for you guys because, uh, 
you know, this is kind of my hobby, and I, and I like to be able to do my hobby. Strong Muramasa. All right, let's chuck that one away. We don't need... We really don't need two Muramasas. It's in the trash anyway, so we still have it, technically. It's just if we manage to replace it, then that's it. That's out of the game. Right. I am very much aware as well. I still have my piggy bank. Should we use that right now, actually? Should we just uh, chuck it down really quick? I just want to chuck some random stuff in here. So, boom, boom, boom. Uh, boom, boom. Not really caring about me getting hit right now because it doesn't matter too much. I'm not losing much health to it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's loads of people up there. Uh, I'm just taking the hits like a man. I am a man! I will take you... Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? What? Um, guys? Uh, um... Hmm. Okay, well that was uh, certainly an interesting turn of events. Okay, I can only assume that was the teleportation potion because uh, I kind of accidentally used them, even though I didn't realise even had any. Um, GG, GG, as they say. Although, you know, this could be a blessing in disguise. We could potentially find some heart containers down here. Um, right. <coughs> oh, man. Oh, my throat, though. My throat is starting to go, man. It's starting to go. God damn it. Right. So, um... I, I gotta be honest with you guys, I, I was not expecting that to happen. Okay, that's certainly, like I said, an interesting turn of events. No sign of heart containers either, unless there's some in this little side cave. Oh no! God damn it, I just killed that worm with a blooming melee weapon. I should not have done that, I apologise. This is of course a ranged playthrough, but he kind of got into the way of my pickaxe, so I can't really help that, so... You know! Before you shout at me in the comments area, it, it kind of wasn't my fault, so, yeah. Alright, okay, this is, uh, th this is good, this is good. Let's just get back into the dungeon. Luckily, we're not too far away from it, which is always a positive sign. Always look at the bright side of life, my friends. <laughs> why, why did I use that? How stupid is that? Now I have to go down and I have to try and find where the blooming, blooming, uh, piggy bank is. God damn it, I really don't want to just leave a piggy bank in the dungeon because, uh, you know, that's going to be useful if I decide to go somewhere else and do a big trip or something and I need to have an extra inventory. I don't want to spend another gold on one, I just want to carry my one about. That piggy bank is near and dear to me and I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. You! Get out of here, you silly idiot. Right. There we go. Back in the game. Oh, good lord. Okay, back in the game, but there's a bunch of dudes already wanting my blood. Uh, I like how there's just regular bats in the dungeon. Yes, yes, yes. Not only have you got me to contend with, you also have the bats to contend with, Mr. Skeleton. Dead, 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 <laughs> dead, dead. So much death. That is ice. Wait, what? Oh, right, okay. That's understandable. Just gonna say, where I was before, there wasn't any ice beside there. I must have been relatively close to an ice biome, so... Yes. And according to the map, I am close to one, so... I don't know. That's pretty cool, I guess. Hello. You're dead. Uh, Aquaceptor. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Pretty sure that's everything. I'm just trying to think in my head. We've got the Moamasa. We've got the Blue Moon. We have the Cobalt Shield. The Handgun. The Aquaceptor. And, of course... The magic missile and the water bolt, which is a bit of an op optional extra. Right, okay. So we now have everything that you can get from the dungeon, which I'm very, very happy with. I'm not going to lie. I thought we were going to die at some point, but, you know, maybe I should have just a little bit more faith in myself. <laughs> right, okay. I'm pretty sure I've got enough bones and everything as well to make the full necro armor, which again, very, 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 very rare I make that. Because I don't really have a use for it, because there's a lot of other armors that kind of are superior to it, which is kind of why I don't ever make it. Right. Oh yeah, I've got full damage still. Duh! Need to be careful of that. Right, okay. Where is the old piggy bank? I'm pretty sure it's down way at the bottom here. Shouldn't be too hard to find, right? It's like within a very small room. Okay. Ugh. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Right, I'm sure it's up here somewhere. And health. There you are, you little bugger. Hey, don't you spawn in here with me. This is my personal room, you blooming... What? What? You jerkbag. There's a blooming heart container to the right as well. I want that. 
If I can get myself up to 400 health, that'd be amazing. That'd be an amazing finish to this blooming dungeon trawling session. Oh no, I got an idea. I got an idea. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Let me take this guy out of the game. Right, you're done. Let me, just, let me let me let me just do that. There we go. There we go. All is good. All is good. Let's go grab that heart container. In fact, that looks like a pretty large cave to have, right? There might possibly be more. I am tempted to explore that for the final part of this session. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so one heart container straight out the bat. And a golden chest. Awesome. Ooh! Oh, that is pretty nice. Wait, do I already have one on this world? I'm pretty sure there's one world where I really want that. I think it might be my warrior world. I've got so many Terraria worlds, I can barely remember what's on each one. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's just be careful. I do have the ability to triple jump, of course, which is awesome. More cobwebs. So sweet. Okay, and 380 health. Sweet. Okay, one more, and then we have the base maximum of 400. And then in hard mode, of course, you can get life roots to increase it to 500. Right, that is hell. I have no reason to go to hell at the moment. Although, I don't know, man. I could, I could potentially survive down there. I feel like I might actually be able to survive down there. Hmm. As long as I stay off the actual hellstone, I should be okay, shouldn't I? Hmm. Do we risk it for the biscuit? That is the question that's rising to the surface. I feel like we should save that for the next episode, though. I feel like we should save that for the next episode when we're trying to build our way up to try and take down the old wall of flesh. But before we do that, obviously, we've still got some other things to do, like go into the jungle. Uh, maybe get the boomstick. I don't know, that's a pretty okay weapon, but again, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other weapons that are superior to it. Oh, great, another spider biome. Oh, boy. Let's be careful. Okay, 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 all right. Hi, how you doing? Am I going to be able to find the uh, the old... Oh, what, what's the chest called? It's, it's, a, it's a webbed chest or some, something like that. I don't know. Oh, God. Okay, there's like two of them there. They're dead, dead. All right, they're all dead. Good, good, good. Oh, God. Right. Oh, what am I doing? I am taking my life in my own hands right now. There's so much cobweb, though. It's so good. So good. I can make a trap of my own if I really wanted to. Make my own spider bind. Wait, is that even possible? I'm pretty sure you need to have this background, right? Something like that. I have no idea, to be honest with you. <clears throat> Please. There we go. There we go. Give me all the things. Webbed chest? Is that something we're going to get today? Oh, God. I wonder if you can find heart containers in these biomes. I have no idea. I'm going to find that out someday. Okay. There are so many cobwebs. This is utterly ridiculous. <laughs> Look at it. I know that in the spider biomes, not all of the cobwebs will drop cobwebs. As you can see, you know, the, the volume of cobwebs are getting is considerably less than the amount of cobwebs are actually breaking. So, you know, that, that's, that's pretty... That's okay, I guess. It kind of prevents you from easily farming the things out, I guess. Well, let me just have a look up here. That looks like a tiny little crappy cave. Let's go back up to the top of this place. And let's try and find ourselves another cave. I really would like to try and get to 400 health at some point. That would be amazing. I would also like to be able to get up here. Oh, good lord. Okay. Hello, worm. I know you're there. And I know you're also a square. But I am going to kill you. Okay. Should be easy. Okay. Oh, god. Oh, boy. Okay. Can I get out now? Yes. Okay, good. What is going on? Not a lot. God damn it. I really want to explore these caves. I know. Oh, let's have one of these. I did not realize I had a Spelunker potion. You guys probably saw that and are probably raging at me in the comments area. In which case, I do apologize. I can only apologize. <laughs> Lol. Ow. You do 20 damage. I'm a jerk. Uh, uh, oh, God. Okay. Going down. Is that guy stuck? That guy's actually stuck. <laughs> what a dumbass. Lol. Right, okay. Let's keep going. I apologize if I sort of banged my microphone. Hmm, I seem to have developed a bad habit of doing that. Because my microphone is actually on the little sort of 
table sort of stand right next to my chair. So sometimes my chair accidentally winds up banging into the microphone. So that's kind of comes through sometimes. And again, I can only apologize about that. But uh, I need to try and develop some sort of proper setup, if you know what I mean. One that doesn't involve me being right next to a stand where the blooming computer chair can keep banging into it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Alrighty, guys. Let me just uh, let me just fast forward this little bit, and we shall meet you guys back once we're in this little cave down here. Oh boy, it's lava town. There's a lot of lava around it. Holy crap! Right. Okay. We are in a new cave, however. We basically dug across from where we were because hell was literally right right beneath me. So I thought, you know what? There's, there's not really any point in doing that because you can't you can't find hard containers in hell anymore. That's one of the changes. I think that was introduced in the uh, the main 1.2 update, so... I don't know, I'm, uh, it's okay. It's okay, I'm not too fussed about that. What's that? Oh. Towards nothing. Hmm. All these little stone formations, and a lot of them look like they do something, but you have just mine it out and they don't do anything. Kinda weird. Hmm. I'm kinda surprised at the lack of heart containers right now. You watch, I say that, and like five seconds later, it's gonna spawn, isn't it? I'm, ta I'm calling it, man. I'm calling it. It's going to spawn, like, right here. No? No? Am I am I not a Terraria god? Of course I'm not. <laughs> uh, okay, um... I would like to mine to the right, but I... Oh, well, okay. Mr. Slime, you can always just, uh... You can always just do that. <laughs> okay. Right. How am I going to do that? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I tackled that with ease. I, I didn't get nervous or anything. Shut up. I did not get nervous. No nervousness was shed here. No nervousness at all. Right, come on, man. We've got 54 seconds of Spelunker potion left. We just need one heart container. How hard can it be to find a heart container? Usually I find, like, millions of them. Well, if, on, on a lucky day, I tend to find absolutely loads of them, but... Uh, today might not be my day for heart containers. I don't know. I think that one heart container I got was just a false sort of... Trying to lure me into a false sense of security so it makes me go for like a five hour mining session to find the rest of them. You jerk bag. That, that, that is what this game is like. It, it makes you believe you're going to get cool things. And then it's just like, nope. No. Hey! What are you doing? Why can't you just leave me alone? What have I done to you? No hard containers? No. There's a little, there's a little gem mound. Which I can't pick up. Uh, oh god. Too many things. Too many- Ooh! Hey there! How you doing? My name's Python. House. 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 Roadhouse. Right, come on, man. Come on, man. What's down there? That is a torch and some rope. I have no need for either of them. I don't know where things are. Alright, we're going to go to that underground house, and if we don't manage to find any hearts coming away from that... Oh yeah, I keep forgetting... <laughs> I keep forgetting I have my binoculars on my hotbar, so I'm just like, wait, what the hell is happening? Oh man. Oh, well, that would explain why I was freaking out my third time. Blooming... <laughs> the blooming viewport was going all over the place, it was ridiculous. Right, silk blocks, they're going to be useful for the extractinator, but pretty much nothing else. Uh, Hermes boots. I have no need for Hermes boots, but I will get them anyway, because I would like to sell them. Uh, silver bars, just for the hell of it, there we go. Alright, I want to take these statues as well, because I like... Uh, for some reason, I really do like collecting statues. It's just it's just how I work, I guess. It's just a thing. It's just a thing. Okay, just a thing. This is the final chance I'm going to give this game. God, I, feel, I, I feel like I'm just addicted to... Uh, oh. There are two, but I only require one. Oh my lord, okay. That lock though. I was about to give up. Okay guys, if ever you're in doubt with Terraria, threaten it with leaving the activity you're going to do, and it will give you what you want. See, look, it's how it works. It is how it works, there we go. <laughs> oh dear. Ladies and gentlemen, 400 health and the entirety of the dungeon pretty much looted out. We got everything from there, and I'm very happy as a result of that. We didn't die, we got an extractinator, we got some hearts, and uh, yeah, I think we did pretty well. Right there. there was a bit of a derp with me using teleportation potions accidentally, but uh, we managed to recover ourselves out of that pretty easily. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm going to end it right there. If you did enjoy the episodes, and of course, you're excited for more of the series, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But for now, 
it is time for me to go. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. And I will see you guys in the next episode.